Today we're going to make an artwork inspired by the artist Terry Dixon. He is an African American artist in Washington DC and he uses a lot of different things in his artwork and experiments a lot with photographs and computer art, videos, electronic music, and paint. You can see he has lots of different things in his artwork and these you can even see little pictures in them. And then he makes some pictures really big to look more abstract by cutting them up and some parts are zoomed in or zoomed out. His backgrounds are really abstract with different drips of paint or shapes and colors, lots of lines and drawing. These artworks don't have any pictures on them, but they have lots of bright shapes and colors and drawings on them. We're gonna start making a background for our artwork today with some of these bright shapes and colors and lines in it. So everybody's gonna start off with a blank white piece of paper. You can start with three pieces of colored paper that you pick out. They might be different sizes. And you can use more than just these three colors, but you can start with three. We are going to have a picture of ourselves on it later. I have a picture right here of me. And if you want to make your artwork kind of represent you, maybe you wanna pick out your favorite colors or colors that might represent you in a way. If you have a very bright personality, maybe you wanna use bright colors. If you're feeling a little bit more frustrated or angry, you could use different colors to show that, or you wanna show happy colors any colors that you want to pick. If you just want to pick colors that you like the way they look together, that's fine too. We're going to start with cutting out shapes and gluing them onto our paper. If you want to take one piece and just glue it on the way it is, that's fine. But if I were to glue on all of these just the way they are, that's not being very creative with my shapes and paper. So we're going to cut some of these. You can cut out lines, shapes. You can draw shapes on here first if you want. You can just take your scissors and start cutting and see what happens. I don't know what this is gonna be, but it might be interesting on here. Maybe I take the blue and I could cut a triangle. Maybe that could go in the corner. Maybe I could overlap it onto some of the yellow or the red. This scrap that I have from my red, that might be interesting in my artwork too. After you glue down your first three pieces, you can go back to the scrap bins or the other papers. Maybe you find a scrap that someone else cut it from and you like the shape that it makes and you wanna use their scrap. You can do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with these papers and just glue them on using a glue stick. You can make smaller papers and shapes to put on it if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video so you can see what my background looks like in the end. All right, so here's my background that I came up with. It's not completely finished yet because I'm gonna draw some lines and shapes on it and I'm gonna put my face on it. So here's my face. I can decide where I want to put it and I'm going to cut it into pieces. I know this part is scary. Oh my goodness. There. Oh, I just cut my face apart. And that's okay. What do you think I should put it back together like that? No, I want it to still look like me. So I'm gonna put it a little bit off center but kind of close together. Maybe I'll use this white space I left in the middle to kind of put it, or maybe I could put it off to the side and at an angle. I don't know, I have to decide where I wanna put it. And then we're gonna draw some lines on it. So I'm gonna speed it up again to show you drawing different lines. We can use some paint markers and we can use some oil pastels. And we're going to add to our picture draw some fun lines and shapes, just like Terry Dixon did. Look at all these different designs, lines, polka dots, shapes, different colors in there. Even in some of his, with his faces on them, maybe kind of outlining them, drawing on the picture. I see a little bit of drawing on top of the picture here. You guys can get kind of creative with coming up with designs to put in your artwork. 
So I'm gonna speed it up again and then we're gonna see how it looks in the end. here's my finished product. I added lots of patterns and lines. I outlined things and I outlined my face with different paint markers and oil pastels. I colored in parts of some shapes. So you can get really creative with this and have some fun. Make it really exciting and make yourself stand out in your artwork.